Alright, greetings everybody, this is WH Dude. Uh, today I'm gonna be teaching you all how to uh, do stuff in DaVinci Resolve, uh, one of the programs I highly recommend personally. Uh, uh, it, it's a free video editor, so you can't really go wrong with it. Um, I'll explain more about it in a little while, um, once I actually open it. So yeah, I'm gonna go get that open and I'll meet you guys over there. Alright, so here we are, um, now this is gonna be really difficult, what you're gonna have to do is hit new project, okay? And then what you're gonna have to do is type in the name of your project. I know, I, I hope you guys are following me so far, okay, technically what you have to do is you have to install the program first, but I assume you guys will have done that. If you don't know how to install a program, I think you guys have a problem. Uh, yeah, anyways. So, we're going to name this... Uh, uh, tutorial thing. Yeah, anyways. Alright, so now what we're going to do, uh, I set this up, it tells you, like, while you're setting it up, what you want, like, if you use an editor currently, and so I set it up to look like Premiere Pro, I mean, somewhat, so if you don't like that, I don't know, cry. So, we're we're gonna do just like a simple masking video, so okay. Here's actually what we're going to do. Uh, what we're going to do is we're gonna make sure this is all set up properly first before I start doing stupid stuff. Okay, so thing is, uh, the free version can't render in a in a thing. It can't render in uh, anything above 30, so we're just gonna hit that, and we're gonna do that. Um, because here's what would happen if, uh, you were to, I don't know, say, do something stupid that no one on Earth would do. Like, uh, <laughs> import the video and then try to, uh, change the frame rate. You know what would happen? Like, change the project frame rate, you know what would happen? It would play, like, fast. It'd play fast. Yeah, so, uh, basically what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be getting Squidward's part where he sings. Uh, right there. Alright. So, to scrub through frames, you wanna do, uh, arrow keys. And yes, this does require more effort than Movie Maker. I'm so sorry. Anyways, so uh, we're going to right click and hit Mark In, or you could hit I if you want. Alright, and then we're just going to scrub through this real quick. <laughs> I don't know if I'll keep that in. Anyways. And then, yeah, to... To mark that as the out spot, the out location, you right click and hit mark out, or you could hit O. So I'm going to hit O this time. There we go. And then, in order to do this, okay, this is really difficult. I'm sorry. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to drag it in here. And wow. Oh, yeah, that I, I sometimes do that by accident. Alright, there we go. And no. <laughs> Great! I love this! <laughs> okay, it's done and... It just looks... Brilliant! <laughs> so... You've got this, alright? Render entire timeline, or you could select your own in-out range, so like, if you want to extend it... Or, sorry take it back here for some reason, but I don't want to. So, let's just render the entire timeline. So, here's what we're gonna do here. Alright, so I just got finished testing some of these, like, codecs and whatever. So here's what I recommend you do. Format QuickTime, just do that. Uh, DNX HRLB. Oh, also, make sure you have QuickTime installed, otherwise that pr might not work. Uh, resolution, 1080p. You'll need anything higher, at least not right now. Um, 720p, like, really? Come on, it isn't, it isn't 2012 anymore, okay?
Again, you can do this, or again, if H.264 works, use that. Vimeo, again, just a thing. Just a preset. All these are just presets. Also, make sure you don't hit audio only, and then complain to me saying, Where is it the audio? Where is it the audio rendering? Hmm, I wonder why! Audio, uh, just do whatever it selects. I think this is fine. You can also do, actually, do that. Do AAC. Alright, and then the file, just name it whatever you want. And, yeah, that's about it. I already rendered the video, so I'll show you the finished product, and that's where I'm going to end it off. Thank you all for watching, and actually, I'm going to end it off by playing this backwards. Don't ask me why I could do that. So, uh, yeah, thank y'all for watching. And yeah, I'll, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Blah. Hello, lady. When my tear ducts give issue, I can't use just any tissue. I need four ply, four ply.